starting this vlog a little bit late. I've already done loads today. Like, I dropped my Jeep off. Why did I drop my Jeep off? Usually when you drop your car off, you're excited to go pick it up. I ain't excited to go pick my Jeep up. I'm actually getting my nice rims taken off and putting the regular rims that came on the truck. And you're going to see how ugly this truck's about to look with the stocked rims. I'm telling you, rims, sh I, shoes, when you put shoes on, shoes change everything. And rims to me are shoes. And when you put nice shoes on, it looks good. You look good. It just looks swaggy. Now we're going to pick up the stock rims. Ray, I'll be back. Yeah. Do you remember what the Jeep used to look like? <laughs> Cause this is now what it looks like. My God, that thing is ugly. I mean, it's still a nice truck, but those rims, look how small they are. Oh man, I don't even want to drive it. My old wheels are right there in the back of the Jeep. See, where I live, you gotta have that thing right there. You see that yellow sticker? You gotta have that. If you don't have it, you can get pulled over and you get a ticket. I got a ticket for that. Now, the only way I could pass this low test to get that sticker was if I changed my two front tires. But realistically, for me to get my tires back on time, I was gonna take way too long. Plus, I don't like having my good rims on my truck during the winter because they be dropping salt everywhere and the salt damages the rims. So I decided to take the rims off uh, until the summertime, I'll get new tires on the two front ones and they will be copacetic. But let me drive home and I'll talk to y'all in a minute. Here we go. So I'm back at my crib. Say what's up, right? Hi. And yeah, man. How the, the Jeep looks? Ow, 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 the Jeep looks so different, right? It looks good. No, it just does it. looks Guys, come on, man. It does not look good. Anyways, I'm about to take my puppies out. I've been running around all morning getting the truck fixed, but now it's fucked. Now it's fixed. I wanted to say this real quick. I actually wanted y'all's advice and let me know if, if, if I should do this. So, um, my Jeep is, it, it's paid off. I, I don't owe no money on it. It's paid off. It's done. Uh, but I've been thinking about trading it in and I don't know if I should do it. Now, if I do trade in, I'm pretty sure whatever I trade in on, I'm going to have a little payment again. Not a big payment because they'll probably give me some good money for this car because this car is in good condition and it barely has any miles on because I don't drive that much. It's in good condition, barely any miles. I was thinking about trading it in. I have an SUV right now. I was thinking about trading it in for two things. I was either thinking about trading it in for a pickup truck or for a sedan, like a Mercedes or a BMW. But I'm leaning more towards a Mercedes like family car, but a beautiful family car. But Mercedes are expensive. So like I said, when I trade this in, I'm gonna have a little bit of a payment. Massive decision. Let me know down below. Would you trade that Jeep with the rims on it when, when it's cleaned up with the rims you guys saw? That thing is clean. It looks nice. It looks beautiful. I'm not getting rid of it because I don't like it. I do like it. I'm just thinking maybe a sedan, a family car. I don't know. Let me know down below what you guys think. Would y'all do it? Or because it's paid off, would y'all just roll with this one? It's beautiful. It's pretty enough. Stay with this one. Skills don't be stupid. Let me know down below. I think that if you want a Mercedes or a car of like that you, I mean, you know about cars. So I would say to know how much it is to get things maintenanced, fixed. Make sure you're gonna want to deal with that hassle. New cars also do come with warranties. I don't know. Let's take the puppy. We outside taking the puppies to go potty. Look at that the puppy right there going to potty. I don't want to show him pooing because nobody wants to see him pooing. Yo! I know, the, I know the Jeep looks like dumb with the nice rims on it. It's okay. It's still a beautiful car. I'll take it with the stock the rims. Uh, that's the way the car came from the dealership when I bought it and then I put my rims on it. But yo, man, I'm just glad those rims are off because the salt that they put down because of the snow here, I don't know if they do it in your area, but when it snows, they put down salt and it tears everything up and it messes everything up and it's actually bad for your rims. So I'd rather those rims be on it. Also, man, the only reason I want to keep my SUV is because like today, I was able to, come on, Scrappy, go potty, man, go potty over there. I was able to, uh, you know, put the four rims into the truck. Had I had a car, I would never be able to do that. Or when I bought my bike during the summer, I would never been able to put the bike inside the car. Scrappy, go potty for our uppercut, you man. He hates the floor when it's wet and he takes ages to go. Look at him, man. Go potty, you little banana. I've been seeing a lot of people tweet me about the whole Payette situation and even the Diego Costa situation. I'm going to say one thing and I'm going to leave it at this. Diego Costa and Pyatt, I think, both want to leave the club that they're at. I think Diego Costa is a little bit pissed off because China offered him a bunch of money. That's what the reports are saying, the rumors. It could be completely fake. Also, Pyatt, they're saying he doesn't want to be at West Ham no more. He wants to move on to a new club. Listen to what I'm about to tell you. I am a massive Benfica fan. This has happened multiple times. Fabio Contreras came off one of the best seasons ever at Benfica, and I believe that was the same year that he went to go play for the national team. After playing for the national team, he said he didn't want to play for Benfica no more, that he wanted to move to Real Madrid. Understandable, Real Madrid's a massive club. I 
wanted him to stay at Benfica, but the moment he said that he didn't want to play, that he wanted to move to Madrid, that's it. Let the player go because ain't no player, ain't no manager, ain't no fan bigger than a club. A club is a massive thing. It's been around for years. A club is, is going to be okay. A player is a big part of a team, but they're going to be fine without him. Messi, Ronaldo, Neymar, Griezmann, best players out there. Yeah, especially Neymar and especially Ronaldo and Messi, but still not bigger than a club. If both of them said they wanted to leave Madrid and Barcelona, let them leave. I know it sucks and it's a really, really hard gap to fill, but ain't no player bigger than any club in the world. I don't care what your name is. I don't care what you've done. I don't care if you're Uzebu, Pelé, Messi, Ronaldo. Ain't no player bigger than the club. I gave in. Man, I haven't bought an expensive pair of shoes in a long time. Y'all see my claws upstairs? I used to collect Jordans. I bought shoes. They'll be here in two days. And that's the worst part. I never wait the two weeks. I always do the rush orders. Like the shoes are already expensive, but then I always make them more expensive by doing the rush orders. And I won't even wear them because I ain't got nowhere to go probably. I'm gonna get Ray Ray's reaction. I did something. What did you do? We're gonna go to the mall for them. You did not. <laughs> I did, I gave, I couldn't. I couldn't hold, I just need them, so I just. <laughs> They're like, they just been eating at me since yesterday and I had to buy them, so. I got two pairs. Pound it one time. They're banana. What, no! You're banana. They're nice. Hey, we back. Y'all go shoe shopping good. We back. We back. We back. We back. You're a banana for that. How are you such a banana? <laughs> what the? Like, legitimately, how are you such a banana? Thank you. Very nice of you to say. walked in that room and I gave Ray my wallet because I bought four pair of shoes in one day I'm telling you man it's like it's it's I love them I love shoes and then I got away from shoes and now I'm kind of back on the shoe hype and I can't wait for them to get here two of them will be here in two days and then the other two will be here in five days so we got to wait for them but once I get them I'll show you them and I'll get y'all's opinion you guys like shoes let me know in the comments down below if you guys like seeing shoes if you guys like shoes uh, if you guys want to see my shoes I've showed you a couple of my Jordans but now I'm kind of off the Jordan hype and onto a new hype but I still think I want to get Jordans I don't know man we'll see it's an expensive hype but I love shoes so anybody else down below like shoes let me know